Welcome to Science Tree Channel. In my previous video, I discussed in detail that what is evaporation. Now here comes the topic: factors affecting evaporation. Before going into the topic, how can we define evaporation? So, escaping of high energy molecules. From liquid to vapor phase is called evaporation. Or simply, high energy molecules are capable to break down the force of attraction which is present between a liquid and just escape out. Some of the important factors which can affect evaporation are surface area. Temperature, intermolecular forces, and last but not the least is humidity. Let's discuss them one by one. Evaporation is a surface phenomena. The molecules present on the surface of the liquid will take energy from the surroundings, and definitely. Their kinetic energy will increase, which make them to vibrate more strongly, and let them to escape from the liquid. As evaporation is a surface phenomena, it can take place at all temperatures below boiling point. While if I talk about boiling, boiling is a bulk phenomena. Now. As evaporation depends upon surface, so with increase in surface area, evaporation increases. Let's understand it by examples. Now here are the two surfaces having water molecules on them. What is your opinion? Where evaporation goes faster? Yes, you are hundred percent right. More the surface area, more will be the evaporation. So, having large surface area will increase the evaporation. Here is an example of hot tea in a cup. Now, sometimes a plate is used if tea is to be cooled quickly. This is because. Evaporation from the larger surface area of plate is more than from the smaller surface area of the teacup. So here, evaporation takes place quickly in a plate, cooling down the tea, than as compared to in a cup. What do you think? Which clothes will gonna be dried up first? Yes, the clothes hanged in a straight manner will dry up earlier than as compared to the clothes hanged in a crushed manner. But why? Exactly, that's all due to surface area. By hanging the clothes in a straight manner, basically we are increasing the surface area. Now you will be pretty clear about the issue that why evaporation increases while increasing the surface area. Let's discuss another point. Intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are those forces which allow molecules in a liquid to held together. Stronger intermolecular forces increase the energy difference between the liquid and the gas phase of any substance. Let's discuss how. If I take two cylinders, one having water in it, while the other having alcohol in it, what do you think? Which have 
stronger intermolecular forces. Definitely, water has stronger intermolecular forces than as compared to alcohol, having strong hydrogen bonding in it. So, as the intermolecular forces of water is strong, it will evaporate later than as compared to alcohol. So, can I say that strong intermolecular forces will decrease evaporation because it will not allow molecules to leave the liquid and evaporate like vapors. So, that's why water will evaporate later on than as compared to alcohol. Alcohol has weak intermolecular forces which allow the surface molecules to move out and escape out as vapors. How temperature affects evaporation? Temperature increases the kinetic energy of the molecules and this increase causes a great vibration and the liquid will change into vapors by overcoming the intermolecular forces present between the molecule. Here is an example of evaporation of water bodies. By increasing the temperature, evaporation increases. The water molecules present on the surface will leave the liquid and move out. The last but not the least is humidity. What exactly the humidity is? It is the percentage of the maximum amount of the water vapors the air can hold at the same temperature. Do you agree with me that deserts have less humidity than rainy forests? Definitely, deserts have less humidity because of hot sun. There are less water vapors present in the atmosphere of desert than as compared to rainy forests. Increases humidity causes decrease in evaporation. And here comes the phenomena of saturation. As air is already saturated with water vapors, so it will not allow easily to gain more water vapors. And same is the case with air cooler. Air cooler causes suffocation in rainy seasons. Have you ever think why? Because air is already saturated with water vapors. So can hold little amount of more vapors. So as humidity increases, Evaporation decreases. Here comes another interesting question. Why we perspire more in humid weather? As air is already saturated with water vapors, so sweat does not evaporate easily from our body. So it's all about evaporation and factors affecting evaporation. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.